Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. And as promised, uh, since we got the uh, fabricated mini in house, um, I'm uh, actually tackling the bed on the Wanho. So, did want to share this because uh, it whipped up a, a few things here. So, um, I'm not sure what size these are. I think these are the original bolts are, are, are an M3. Um, so I don't have any nuts or access easily to that. I can I can order them, etc. However, what I decided to do is switch them to um, number four, you know, English number four screws. And so what I've done is I've had to remix this um, wheel a little bit. This is the standard wheel. I think you see quite a bit on Thingiverse. So I've remixed it for a number four nut. I've also come up with my own um, spring holders. Now, one of the things with the spring holders, you may say, why do I need spring holders? And what I'm going to do is, so here's the typical spring, and then in the original configuration, you had washers. I try to keep this in the frame uh, on both ends. Well, what happens is there's nothing that keeps this, this spring from shifting side to side um, as a spring will. So they have this lateral torsion. And we're, we're only talking, you know, a small amount of distance, you know, when you talk about, you know, like a 0.2 uh, layer height. And what happens when this shifts, uh, you know, as the bed moves in that, what happens is your print height changes, and that creates adhesion issues and, and you know, lesser quality in the print. So what happens is these spring holders hold the spring straight, because you can see it comes down on the side, and, and, base, and long story short, these will pop there you go pop in and then hold it straight now what happens is a nut gets placed on the inside of this then the spring will go up and be pressed in and then one will be put on the bottom and then compressed and then one of these nuts or you know the thumb screws whoops gotta get it in the frame will go in and it's got a nut, nut pressed into the bottom of it and then that's what will be used to adjust it and then all this will be held very uh, very straight so uh, anyways uh, I want to show this so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, reassemble these because you will have to take the bed apart in total because what you'll have to do is get underneath there um, I'm just using a pair of pliers to, to reach inside um, you, you know these so I don't know if you can see that in the camera if it's light enough um, and put a number four nut on the inside of those so because that'll hold this will keep this from turning and then that way it'll turn from the bottom this thumb screw for the adjustment so I printed all the all these on the fabricator mini if I get it all in the frame here so it uh, looks pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna finish the build I just kinda wanted to show everybody what it looks like um, pre-assembled and what, what some of my logic was for it and then we'll come back once I get it assembled and we'll take a look at it done Okay, we're back and we have them installed on uh, all four, uh, and so it took a little bit to get them on. And one of the things, uh, actually, a couple points to make. So the first point is when you put these on, you want to probably tighten them all the way down. Don't over tighten them, or else you know you're gonna break the nut and the, the holders. However, um, by tightening them down, what's going to happen is it's going to compress that spring into both of these pieces. And, and again. Um, I had showed in, in the, uh, you know, on the onset how this all went to get, together. So if you just tighten it down a little bit, uh, eventually what's going to happen is it's going to pop in there, especially once this bed heats up. Uh, however, once you get that, then you can adjust it, and, and the adjustment is very nice on these, uh, by the way. Now, another thing to keep in mind, this is going to add two millimeters because the, uh, surface height on each one of these spacers is one millimeter so you're going to get two extra millimeters um, in here so you're going to have more spring compression than you did before I personally like this because this really holds the bed solid uh, before uh, with it the other way I could sh I could wiggle this bed and the actual print surface would, would wiggle not not now uh, and there's a lot of tension here and, and be aware of that that there's a lot of tension um, in here also keep in mind righty tighty lefty loosey so which way to turn these to tighten it obviously to pull the bed down or raise the bed up um, 
as you're facing it. So when you go to the back, you know, again, it's going to be to the right to tighten, to the left to loosen, and the same thing for the front. So uh, the other piece that, that uh, just thinking aloud, so I printed these out of ABS, sorry, not ABS, PLA. Uh, I probably should have printed these, the, the uh, spring spacers, out of uh, ABS or um, uh, PET instead of PLA, because this is a heated bed, and it is up against a heated surface. Now, I typically don't get this hotter than about 80 degrees C, and it's going to take about double that to actually melt this. Uh, however, I'm sure this will soften it, so I, I may have to go back. So I am going to recommend, when I put these up on Thingiverse, that you do use like an ABS or PETG plastic uh, for this, you know, something that, that takes the heat, because again, this is mounted right to this bed. So we'll see how it goes. If, if nothing else, I just print a new set and put them on, and, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, however, I really like the adjustment. I've, I've already trimmed the bed on this. Um, you can get, uh, you know, again, I used a fine number four screw, um, or bolt, actually, hex head bolt, and so the, the, the precision is really good. I haven't gone back through with the uh, dial indicator yet, I will do that and, and see about the adjustments. Um, however, all in all, it came out pretty good, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So we now have the leveling feet on it. We have the bed adjustments. We have the filament thing up above. So we pretty much have this bad boy uh, tricked out for some serious printing. So very happy, again, with the whole one. Oh, for 400 bucks, I couldn't be happier uh, with it. So uh, anyways, hey this helped you out. Oh, again, I'll put the links to all this uh, below. Uh, I'll have all this up on Thingiverse. The links will be below. You can download it, um, make the modifications to yours if you want, etc. And hey, if this uh, you found this interesting, if these helped you out, hey, at least give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up. What's it hurt? I see you hovering over it. Just go ahead, click it down there. I know you can. And uh, hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.